We are here back in the same place with the Christmas tree next to me. And today we're gonna to be looking at my Etsy pay for December week two, which was way more than I thought it was gonna be. So thank you so much for that. But before that, what I'd like to do with you is to give you a bit of a tour of the Christmas tree. Jake and I, um, the whole eight years we're together, we collected stupid baubles. So our tree is absolutely covered with them. So I'd like to show you some of my favorites. So we have the digger, the scotch egg next to the ice cream, next to the ray gun. Obviously we've got the UFO, quite possibly the gayest cat you've ever seen. A hunky Poseidon, Big Ben, and a glittery squirrel, a frog, a high heel shoe, Stegosaurus. A whale, a Poundland bag, glittery Triceratops, a Pegasus. Hi guys, girls and non-binary pals, welcome back to Budget with Ira. My name is Ira and I am on a debt-free journey. I'm on a debt-free journey because I racked up over £13,000 worth of debt. Every week here on YouTube, I show my debt payoff progress and my budget so that I can achieve my dream of owning my first home as an individual. If you would like to support me that dream, please consider subscribing to the channel because it makes a massive difference. Thank you so much to everybody who already has. So as I said, in today's video, we are going to be looking at my Etsy payment for December week two, which was a lot more than I thought. So um, thank you. And let's go ahead and take a look at the sheets because I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to break that down. Let's do, do that now. Okay, so last week was pretty good. I'm not going to lie for us over on Etsy. It probably was one of the best weeks we've had. Difficult to tell because I was in Etsy jail for so long, but last week, I'll put you out of your misery, ended up being £430.21. Like, how on earth? That's just so much money. Like, like if I'm like really, really honest with you, the sort of ambition for me is to uh, earn at least 200 pounds on Etsy every week. So the 100 pounds I can use as a salary. And then from that, I can drop a day at work and sort of work semi part time for my day job so that I can devote a bit more time to this. And um, when I get payments like this, it makes me feel like that this is actually quite realistic for me. So I am looking forward to see what the future brings um, because if it carries on where I'm consistently getting a hundred pounds a week, um, I, I will consider that. So thank you for making that a reality for me. Anyway, this £430.21, I have to break it down. Uh, the tax person, I should say, gets 20%, so that's 86 pounds and three. Uh, business expenses. That is 129 pounds and six. I'm saving up for something here at the moment because I have got something really exciting coming in the shop. So it's gonna cost me about 140 pounds and hopefully it pays off. So. Um, that's going to be a big chunk of that. And then leftover for take home pay is £215.12. Now I round up or round down every week and it made sense to round down. So I'm going to be stuffing £215 this week. So here's the cash that I've got. Let's um, count this all up. Cause I didn't do that last week and a lot of you moaned about it. So sorry about that. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25. One, two, three, four, five, 50 pounds. Two, four, 40. And then two very different 50s and that's a hundred. Let me just scoop that all over. So let's go ahead and start in my binder. Um, this is where I like to stuff my sinking funds and my things for the future that my normal salary would not 
cover. So let's go ahead, move to my divider and let's go to the future and we'll start with clothing. So clothing gets five pounds like it does whenever I can. So now I have 35. Dental will get five pounds. If I sound a bit sniffly, it's because I still got that cold. It's really annoying. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. These are really coming along really well. Like on a serious note, I used to sit and watch um, budget YouTubers um, all the time and watch their sinking funds grow. Um, and they're only putting in like five pounds a week and just never, and I, and I always thought, I'm never gonna be able to stuff five pounds a week. I'm never gonna be in that position to be able to do that. Um, they've got so much more money than me, stuff like that. Like, uh, literally, dreams can come true and it can happen to you. And if you are motivated enough and you put enough energy into it, you can be in a position where you can stuff a fiver towards the things that really, really matter to you. So it doesn't matter where you are, as long as you're intentional now, you can make it happen because for about a year, I used to watch like She's on a Budget and loads of these budget YouTubers and think that I could, that could never be me, but look at me. Anyway, that's my little two cents for today. Deposit is gonna get 10 pounds. This is a deposit for a flat or a house or I don't know what. So we have now got 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. That is so much. Like That's really crept up, 180 pounds. Wow. Laptop will get 10 pounds. So this one is my most stuffed one. This has my 500 pounds in a Monzo pot and this is a, uh, what are they called? Placeholder and I got this from Pinching the Pennies. So I will link her shop in the description. Hopefully she has got some still in stock. So that's 500, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 590. I could get a relatively okay laptop, and I suppose I have got enough in case my current laptop dies, I've got enough for an emergency laptop. But while it's still working, I will endeavor to save towards a iMac. Silhouette gets five pounds. So in here, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. Now, on a real note, um, I may have found a way to not buy a silhouette um, because they are quite expensive. And then the products that you can make with them are quite niche. So um, I might have found, I've got a way of cutting vinyl anyway, so I can make stickers and things like that. And you'll see that in the upcoming releases, but um, what I want a silhouette for is to make stickers and I might not need to do that. So if I can find a way that is cost effective enough to not purchase a silhouette, I will reconsider this as a sinking fund and redistribute the money. So um, I'll tell all when I've got my head around it, but I might not actually need one. It might not be something that is necessary for me, but I'll keep you updated. Tattoo will get five pounds. And that means that we have now got 20, 30, 45. It gets scary as this one rises because that means I have to go and get a tattoo. <laughs> okay, now we are over to Lights Camera. That's going to get five pounds. And we now have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. 55 pounds. Now this is the style of cash envelope that has a little tracker on the back that's available on my store. So we're now starting our second row. And when we've ticked off all of these fivers, we will have 500 pounds, which will be when I'll start considering buying some lights or a new camera or something like that. 
Okay, next one we have is my brother's wedding, which has taken place in Spain, something that I want to be a part of and join him on his big day. I'm gonna stuff that with 10 pounds. So I've now got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. I don't even know how much it's gonna cost to go over to Spain. I don't know if we're gonna be allowed to go over to, in Spain in sort of September time, but um, I'm still gonna stuff it as if it's definitely happening and sort of closer to next, maybe next year, I'll find out how much it's actually gonna cost so that I could be a bit more intentional because I might need to stuff a bit more than that. Uh, then we have my friend's Hindu. So we took out 50 pounds last week to give to my friend's sister because she's organizing all the parties. So now we just have 20 pounds in there and that will start to fund the evening one or the morning, I don't know which one I paid for. And then the stag do, that's gonna get 10 pounds as well. And that means that we have now got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70 pounds, which I think is not bad going. I just wish I didn't have to save for a stag do. <laughs> it's not gonna be the most fun thing for me, to be honest, but I love my friend and I will do anything for him. So that's that. Okay, now let's move over to my mini cash binder because we are gonna start and add another 40 pounds to my sinking funds. So here's the mini cash binder. These are available on my Etsy store. I've sold quite a few of these and you guys are so creative in what you want me to do for you. Um, I, lo I love making these. So uh, this one I do 40 pounds whenever I can and I move to the next week, which is this one here. And I'm gonna stuff 40 pounds. So there's two 20s there. I'm sorry if I keep sniffling. I'm literally the most pathetic person when I'm ill. When do we move over? It feels like we've been in red for ages. Okay, we're going into like a plum color soon. Right, okay. Let's go to the front page and tick off the next one. We've now got 360. One more stuffing and we're on 400. I can't believe how fast this is going. That's brilliant. Okay. So now we are left with two 50 pound notes and I think you can guess where this is gonna go. So let's start with my 100 envelope challenge. Okay, so here we are with the 100 envelope challenge. All of this is available on my Etsy store, by the way. So we have the trackers which are available or you can get them as a digital download. They come with the um, paper envelopes. In the paper envelopes, you get a a, a couple of different designs, mostly the sprinkles and some solid ones, but you also get a blank one. Now what I'm doing uh, this year is I am printing those blank ones onto my waist so that I can reuse things. And this week I am print, I printed on a failed print. So it was a November exclusive, which is now sadly gone. Um, envelope for somebody and the print on the back failed. So I didn't want to waste it. So I'm actually going to stuff 50 pounds in here. So let's put 50 on here. Okay, so let's go with this one. I've just had a thought that this is quite an old 50 here. So what I might have to do is, because I don't want to stuff it because they're going to go out of circulation soon. So by the time I actually unstuff these, I might not be able to actually use it. So I'm going to do something with this 50 in a sec. But for now, this is 50 pounds. Let's cross off 50 here. Looks like we're going to get this line done. Okay, and then let's put this in here. So all of these envelopes are printed on my waist. So 50 is here. Because I've got two leopard print ones. Three really. Cool. What I've done is I've swapped it with a newer 50 from my cash envelopes because um, at least I can see that one. I can change it if I need to. Okay, so in the Christmas challenge this week, we are stuffing another 50 pounds, which is one of the larger ones in this Christmas challenge, which makes me feel very good um, that it's being done. So let's make this envelope a bit quick. Okay. 
and these are coming along really nicely too. I love these little envelopes. This one's still my favorite. I love this one. I might do these next week. Okay, that is me done and stuffed for the week. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for giving me this money. Like, I'm not relying on 400 pounds worth of Etsy sales every week, but geez, you guys really know how to show up and support me. Thank you so much. Hi guys, gals on Non-Binary Pals. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know it means so much when you do that. Thank you so much. I also love it when you support this video by liking and commenting. And if you are gonna comment today, please use this emoji. So without further ado, I'm gonna say goodbye and sign off to you. I'd like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, have a wonderful budget. I will see you in a couple days. See you soon, bestie. And if you would like to become a Patreon member, please take a look in the description down below. You won't regret it, bestie.